Hi, I'm Merrick D'Amato, and welcome to a brand new Marvel Entertainment Let's Play. It's of a PS1 title, a video game, ad video game adaptation of the 1999 movie, The Mummy. Which, interestingly, was referenced way back in my Van Helsing Let's Play this past Halloween. I have cheats here just in case. Um... I won't need them unless I use them unless I need them, but they're there if I need them. Game. Universal. I'm doing this one mainly because I kind of want to do the others too. Like, uh, Mummy Returns, Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, and Scorpion King Rise of the Acadian. Just because I finished up the Harry Potter series, and I'm running low on Marvel games, so... I kind of want to have a another series playlist. Thebes, 1290 BC. This is actually footage from the film. Fuck me. I forgot PS PS1 games could do this. this at such good quality, too. Burn Seti the First's mistress betrays him with his trusted priest, Imhotep. Imhotep and Anaxunamun are discovered and taken to Hamanakra, City of the Dead, where they are cursed and mummified. Imhotep suffers the Hamdai, the worst of all the Egyptian curses. The kids have superpowers, so you wondered why they do it. We start here. Over 3,000 years later, foreign legionnaire Rick O'Connor, caught up in a battle that raged above Hamanaka, barely escapes with his life. Yeah, I would have had the uh, that actual battle scene be the tutorial level for the game, personally. But, it was not to be. Sometime later, Rick returns to the lost city of the dead with Egyptologist Evelyn Carnahan and her treasure-seeking brother, Jonathan. I love the Mummy series. I like I think this may be the Book of the Dead. both of the good movies. The Book of the Dead. And I love the cartoon show. I actually have all three around series, seasons of it on DVD, book. but Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, oh, man, King. Scorpion King, boring. Reading a book. It's the Evil Dead. That's what harm can come from reading a book. That happens a lot around here. Yeah, it does. So what's it say? Amunra. Amunde. It speaks of the night and of the day. Sue Aharam Don't, don't, don't do the... That's not a good idea. That's a best Stallone? And that's why you don't want to do that. Idiot. The Upper Ruins. I'm, I'm gonna be using... What was that? It came from over there. Wait a minute. Let's go prepare. Uh, I'll just check back here. Okay, we've got our guns. Um, I am using a joystick instead of the D-pad. I love our watch. I love our watch cycle. It's so it's adorable. What are you doing? Uh, I think Evie needs some help. So yeah, this is the game. What have you found? There's something written here, but it's too dark to read. Hold on. That's weird. Ooh, 
This is one of the legendary panels of Raw. I didn't know that was a thing. Lighting these gives life. Stay here. I'll go check it out. We don't sound anything like uh, Brendan Fraser. You may have killed us all. You have unleashed a creature that we have feared for more than three thousand. Hello, Ardis Bay. You're my favorite character. I wish I got to play as you. This is where the game proper starts. Uh, jump with. Oh! We can heal if we if we uh, discover those things. Oh, what do we get from finding treasure? Pick up treasure items seeing magic throwing amulets. Okay, guess that's something. Extra life, light up the higher to like. Okay, sure. Treasure. Bullets. Two shots generally kills the uh, marauders. Grave robbers. Grave robbers? I think the brave robbers. Anyway, two shots can kill him. Hidden mechanisms can unlock secret chambers. Try pressing operate next to objects. going pretty well so far. Also, that was an impressive amount of opening cutscene for a PS1 game. <laughs> like, so far, most... When you got... When you got the star key, the gold switch is released. Stand by it and press it back in with X. Okay. Look like not a trap. This definitely seems like a trap to me. Some treasure. Some wall buttons. <laughs> Beware! Scare beetles inhabit these ancient tombs. Ah, crap! I hate this game. Duh. The scare beetles, one gunshot pretty much kills them. Two for a. Uh... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Here you. There you are. Uh, two for. Two for bandits, one for scare beetles. Also. When in doubt, gunshot the barrels. Safer that way. And that's why, because sometimes they contain scarabs. We'll contain a bunch of treasure. Treasure is always good.
Can we aim? Now oh, we can swing the camera around, but... And there's this item switching thingy. Dodge attacks, press. Gotcha. Ooh, start a uh, key piece. Cool. Get this out. Like the thing. I mean, it is kind of a herky jerky experience this game so far, but it's the PS1. I can't really expect a whole lot. It's great for the time, I'll give it that. Bullets are the most important thing in the game. In my in the bit of the game I've played. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. It's not gonna end well for me. Music went away. That's not for good. Yay, you got an extra life. Sweet. <laughs> Brendan Fraser there adjusting his hair. I'm, fi I'm fighting the undead servants of not the end right of the world, here. but God, I look awesome. <gasps> Bullets! Mine! What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? It's nothing. You look treasury. What? I've got problems. Ah, like, fuck. Ah, die. Holy shit. Okay, yeah. But, uh, it did not lie. Mummies. Walk on the wall, climb the wall. This is an also extremely compelling game. For a PS1 game, the PS1. Also, probably because I haven't really played many uh, PS1 games in my life. This is like my third. Okay, fourth if you count. Okay, third I've recorded. Fourth if you count Symphony of the Night, but that. It was a great game, but it didn't really take an example of the new 3D thing. Okay, with the designs of some characters, yeah, but not not on as all well. not, not important. Um, I don't really know the conventions of games from this era because I haven't really played a lot of them. But I don't know if there are any other games like this. As far as I know, this is a it's like a smoother running re Resident Evil. Might be like Tomb Raider. Don't know. Probably. I've never really played Tomb Raider. The, uh, the movie really turned me off of, the, of playing that series ever. It was an awful, awful film.
Death is only the beginning. Note to self, name this video, Death is only the beginning. I'm sure I named the end, the end of the series then. It is a button! <laughs> I mean, it's not like this is a horror game or anything, but fuck those things make me uncomfortable. Because they're so hard to kill. Well, I say that, they seem to die pretty easily, but ammo is limited, and uh... <laughs> I don't know if we can fight without ammo. Um, well, we can, but I don't know if we can. Effectively, it's another one. Stretch down here. They're bullets. Oh, yes! Oh, thank God. Thank raw, there are bullets. Torch. This. Is the only one up here? Yeah, it looks that way. Like this thing. And this thing. Do and don't want to know what's behind every corner. I mean, this is an old. I, I think this is from 1999, or uh, around thereabouts. This, this is surprisingly good for an action movie tie-in. This thing is amazing at building a horror, a spooky ass atmosphere. This is surprisingly tense. The, with the orchestral stings. But not the overwhelmingly so like games today where it's like... Well, I guess a scary moment's gonna happen. The music's telling me, but it's just... It's, it's an atmosphere of dread, really. At least for me it is. And I've never found mummies scary. <laughs> Some panels are not just ancient murals. Press action to see what they do. I call bullshit, but all right. <laughs> Someday they'll learn to use guns. Bullets, my friend. Power caps, press O and running forward.
I don't know what that beating heart means, but I don't like it. <laughs> Usually beating hearts in video games mean you're dying, and but I don't think we are. Be quick from escaping from these pits in case we get entombed. Good, nothing in there. Well, nothing evil in there. Or in there. Just some lovely shinies for us. That's what I like to see. Nothing that wants us dead. treasure. Hell, I'd be going this for this after this treasure even if it didn't do anything. I mean, we're a treasure hunter in an ancient Egyptian too. What else are we supposed to do? If you go the other way, by the way, pillars start falling on you. Ooh! That's a sword! End of thing. Is a sword a weapon we have, like, forever now? I'm down with having a sword. I'm always dead. Well, machete. It's a machete, but eh, we get it. We get one perfect zone gem and five lies left. I will save the game. Sure. Save successful. The Upper Ruins. We're gonna get a cutscene? If we're getting in a cutscene, I'm gonna keep it, have it in this video. Yep, cutscene. Oh, what's that? This? This is for you. I had to, you know, face certain death to get that for you. Hmm. I we're wonder. Not gonna tell them that there are mummies alive. Awesome show. <laughs> Ow. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Evie, I think... Jonathan, look what we found! Rick, if you can find the two missing pieces of this hieroglyph, we can open this door. And that would be good because... It leads to the hidden chambers of Hamanatra. Does it say anything about treasure? Apparently, collecting the treasures of Hamanatra bestows powerful magic. Cool, do I get fireball? So, um, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're doing fine, let's go. The fact that save I have save states means I can go as long, I can stop a game at any time and continue from that same time. Really useful if you're recording, <laughs> frankly. I love our watch cycle. Like machete. Okay, I have a gun zone. Don't know what we're gonna face in here. You always did have more guts than brains, O'Connor. Benny! If it isn't my little buddy Benny. We need to find a thing of this place looks actually pretty cool. I like it. Light up a torch. These things are important? Nope. I don't know what got what deity that is, so don't ask me. I have no idea. Beat him with a beating stick. 
torch can be used as a weapon. Doesn't really do a hell of a lot of damage. A hell of a lot of damage, but it's better than your bare hands. I think the magic exploding amulets act as grenades. No real reason to use them yet. Well, fuck. Fallen columns. <laughs> That your death was solid gold? I'm glad you proved my gunmanship. Save stating time. Hey hey. Still two hits, that's not bad. Any uh, symbols of raw around here? Okay. Well, that's already, uh... Hello, that's already pushed in. How do we get through that? Thank you, Game Glitch, for showing me the way. With a whole lack of free treasure. There's another bit. Gotta grab the little, uh. Gotta grab one of the infinite masks of Teuton Common. I don't wanna test these all now. I don't know why I find Rick O'Connell's run so goddamned adorable. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm gonna kill the mummy. Ooh, treasure.
This is a pretty fun adventure. Compliments to the DM. What am I supposed to do, game? Kind of stuck. That's one problem with these old PS1 games. Logic is not their strong suit. Well, I'm sure it makes perfect sense to the people when they made the game. Thank babies. No, okay. Uh, so it looks looks like I'm a Merrick Tomato, I guess. And uh, I'll figure out what to do here, and I'll see you next time for more. Let's play the Mummy. Till then, ciao. Hi, thanks for watching. This has been played and recorded by me. Merrick D'Amato. The art was by Rafaela Grona. You can find a link to their commission page in the description below. And if you, li if you like this video and want to see more like it, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you all next time. Ciao!